Welcome back, everyone, to the Collegiate Aces series powered by Philly Esports. I'm Tenrec. With me once again is Cap, and we're nearing the end of our Super Smash Brothers Ultimate season. Just three weeks left, and we're kicking things off this time around with a game between Western Colorado University and Greenville University. Cap, it's great to see you again. How are you? I'm doing great. You know, I got the Mario hat on. You know, I figure last week I did the cat ears. You know, this week I, I'd change it up a little bit and still wear the cat ears. It's a prank. It's always Catboy Wednesday. It will literally never stop. Can't believe you can't this. escape it. Uh, but Smash is pretty cool too. Uh, <laughs> like you said, WCU going into Greenville today. We're gonna be starting up here. We're gonna P Bobby versus Rich on to kick things off now. Henrik, we've got a we've got a we've got a Falco versus a Yoshi on the screen here. How are you feeling about this? SG Cap, no idea. Uh, Falco versus Yo Falco versus Yoshi is one of those matchups where you kind of you kind of want to not expect what's gonna happen because Yoshi and Falco are such unpredictable characters in very similar manners. I mean, uh, uh, immediately the first thing you have to talk about is obviously their jumping and how much altitude and verticality and momentum they can find in the sky. But that also means that, uh, you know, converse to one another, they'll find a lot of momentum in the little things, these neutral games that we'll see back and forth. Not a lot of combos back and forth, we'll see mainly just flip moves until the big conversions and we'll see Rick John trying to find one right there with the back air, but it's not enough just yet. So these first docks, you gotta remember Greenville is still winless in this series, still trying to find their first dub. They might be able to do it against WCU. Now, oh, big up smash coming out, gonna punish that down B. Uh, now, something I think that's gonna be really interesting about this matchup is when they're starting uh, their combos, and Yoshi not super well known for being a combo character, but does have some strings that uh, he can exploit. Yoshi's mostly looking to start in the air versus Falco is mostly looking to start on the ground, which I, in my opinion at least, gives Yoshi a bit of an advantage. Unfortunately, not gonna be able to mash out of the egg in time there. That is going to be the stock. We're gonna see it a two to two now. One stock taken for each player. Basically an even game at this point. Absolutely, the amount of damage that y Yoshi can do, this is basically an even matchup. And, and Yoshi can also kill very early if given the right tool. But uh, Rick John definitely wants, <laughs> definitely doesn't want to give him that tool right now, launching so many moves at the moment. Trying to find the finisher. Ooh, up tilt isn't gonna fully connect yet. Yeah, uh, another thing about uh, this Yoshi, oh. Oh, I thought we were going to see the jab lock there, but going to finish out the, I believe that was jab. Uh, so unfortunately not going to see a stock there. Ooh, look, we're, we're fishing for smash that. I think it's a little early to be fishing for these kill moves. Uh, only 64 in the Falco here. A little more damage needs to be done before we can really start looking for those kill confirms or those, or those hard reads to get the stocks, but we're working towards it. I think B-Bobby is doing a much better job of kind of hesitating sometimes, just letting the game sort of play out before he, he decides to pursue an action, and I think that's helping a lot of this uh, approach game from Rick John. It's helping to stymie a lot of it and also keep things nice and unpredictable. Still no kills yet. Nice down smash to just get Rick John off of him, but again, no finisher, and that down B is going to get punished with a forward throw. Can Rick John find the finalizer here for stock number two? No. B-Bobby is going to recover high. Now, and one of these things about Yoshi, uh, just one of these weird characteristics, is this egg shield. Oh, F smash read, gonna take it off the left side. 150 on this Yoshi, he, he, that's just about any aerial that this Falco throws out. Uh, but one of these things that's interesting about Yoshi is the shield. It can be really hard to tell when Yoshi is close to a shield break, just because there's no real great visual indicator of the size. You just have that color getting darker and darker as it goes. Now, Falco, not really a character that's going to be looking for shield breaks it has some setups but they're not super common uh but it is something to keep in mind uh especially because we're seeing people we play this more defensive reactive style he's going to be in shield a lot and that, that you know it's something that might just happen with the amount of shield pressure falco can put out up there with, finally yeah, going to take yeah. it even that game out that, that pressure is all you really need against that shield, you know? I, I don't think you need to worry about how much damage can I do against this. It's how inside can I get and how long can I stay there. And uh, Rick John did a pretty, pretty good job of that to make sure that things stay really even. Another great egg lay read on that uh, vision coming in and another forward air from Peabody. It's not the right hitbox, so Rick John can recover back, but already 89% of forward smash from center stage on Smashville. That's certainly going to do it in Western Colorado. Falls first, Greenville's ahead 13-12. That is a beefy F smash, and uh, 
Fantastic start coming out from Peabody. I did see something I did really like. We saw a couple of these neutral airs coming out to break these Falco combos. Falco is a character who, while a lot of people think of them as cutscenes, a lot of them is just, you know, catching catching the rolls, catching the air dodges, catching your jumps. Um, so you really got to watch out for these characters that have these, like, frame three combo breaker options, so, uh, such as this Yoshi neutral air. Uh, you know, really fast startup, really safe, even if he throws it out and misses. No harm, no foul. So it was it was nice to see uh, P. Bobby breaking a lot of these combos with his own aerials, just to kind of make sure that Rick John's kind of staying on his toes when he's in the middle of these cutscenes, as people call them. Yeah, changing that pace to more of a neutral game definitely fit P. Bobby's uh, element a lot more. He's got one stock to work with is Greenville's first player, and so Western Colorado they have to bring in their counter pick first. But you've only got to take one stock, and because of that, I think you can afford to bring in somebody that hasn't performed as well throughout the series. I'm thinking you bring in Mild Knights on that Young Link. I honestly wouldn't mind seeing Zane again on that Incineroar. Uh, we we saw we saw them last week come in in a much better matchup than the first week that they came in. Uh, the first week, I uh, I don't even remember honestly what the matchup was. I just remember it was very bad for Incineroar. Um, Last week we saw them perform a lot better, given a you know a much more even matchup. And Yoshi Incineroar is definitely a matchup I would consider even, if not close to it. Uh, nothing Yoshi does is really going to be able to exploit Incineroar that much. Plus Incineroar with that, just everything he does, I, I think Incineroar is just really good in terms of frame data and the, and the buttons that he can press. Um, and when you have a character like Yoshi who can't kind of has to get in there and scrap it, can't really punish those buttons from afar, can't punish that slow walk speed, then you're starting to run into some trouble where, okay, now I have to consider this Incineroar much more of a threat. It is funny. There's there's a lot of these matchups that you see in a Smash game where it's it's not how do these characters fare against one another, it's how does one of these characters beat the other. And even then, it can still seem so even because, uh, like you said, I, I feel like Yoshi doesn't have a terrible time against Incineroar, and I feel like Incineroar doesn't have a terrible time against Yoshi. I, I, I think that both of them pose some merit for sure, but the fact that you have to say Incineroar is the boss battle, and Yoshi is the one fighting, um, that I, I feel like that immediately kind of can change the mentality of a lot of these players, is, is how you approach something, especially when you're coming from behind, when you're counterpicking, when, when you're entering this new space where you need to take this lead back, you need to tie things up, you need to end this game as quickly as possible, you need to lose zero stocks. It will be Mild Knights on good the call, Young good for call. Western Colorado. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I, I don't dislike this Young Link. Obviously, Mild Knights uh, putting up some numbers uh, in their own right. And also, Young Link, good good into Yoshi. Plenty of projectiles to throw to keep Yoshi out. Also, very, very good. I think people under... Well, honestly, I don't think people underrate Young Link's normals. They're, they're, they're good. I think they're rightly feared. Uh, but all these aerials gonna go toe to toe with a lot of things Yoshi can do, considering Yoshi's lack of range in his aerials. Those boots are big, but not quite that big. One stock. The Mild Knights needs to get rid of P. Bobby. You know how you tell. Playing so safe, happy to let a lot of these projectiles just fly. Throw some eggs to counter them. They're doing a pretty good job so far. Nice catch by Mild Knights. All about finding as much damage as possible without letting P. Bobby get inside. So. As much as Peabody can avoid a lot of these, eventually he's not going to, and Mild Knights is perfectly fine with just throwing a lot of stuff at the wall, seeing what sticks. 82 on him right now. He's he's close for sure. But Young Link could sometimes have trouble finding that finisher. Maybe launch a lingering up air or even a a, a, a grounded upbeat from uh, from the ledge. Might be able to get enough pressure to seal the deal here, but you gotta find it, and Peabody's not gonna let that happen. Oh, Ooh, little slightly too low on the mash there. Um, yeah, I think a problem Young Link suffers from, and there's a reason that uh, he's falling kind of out of favor with the meta, is a lot of his kills are going to come from confirms. He's looking for those like fire arrow and the uppy, the boomerangs and the fares. Granted, it's it's they're safe kill confirms because you're throwing out projectiles uh, that really you can't punish super well to look for these confirms, but. The fact that it rains at the end of the day, you're, you're really looking to hit these kill moves and up smash, reading the jump right there, gonna take it. But, uh, you know, above 120, 130, we were looking at that Yoshi, pretty high percent considering, uh, I'm all things considered, it was only one stock that you're taking away. Like, he, he, I feel like you can definitely take that earlier with Young Link, but that's just something the character struggles with. And if you know what you're looking out for, it can be very easy to avoid. I'm telling you, P-Bobby is just such a gigantic threat. The amount of damage that he can come out with out of nowhere is so dangerous, but 
It's a good thing that Mild Knights only lost one of those stocks, because now Greenville's back on these ropes, has to find someone that can take care of these two stocks, and they got rid of one of their more powerful players as their opener, so uh, I'd say just like WCU, you maybe slow it down, and you bring in Michael Myers on that K rule. I think Michael Myers has been... Oh, and we are going to... We're no going to see way. very really? early Shady Shadows. Uh, wow. I think the idea here being you want to really keep that uh, pressure on. Uh, Peabody, such a um, strong start. Four stocks out the gate. Um, if you can put in Shady Shadows and they can take another four or even maybe more, uh, you have, you're putting so much pressure on this Western Colorado squad to perform. Uh, uh, the more stocks you're taking early, the more on the back end they're worried about taking. That can be a lot on the mental game. My with with putting these big performers out early is that there will be less and less opportunities to have a proper counter pick for your other players as time goes on and there is going to be a player on your team if your roster is too small or your character pool is too tiny where your matchup is not going to be as favorable as you want it to even if you're counter picking so with shady shadows I feel like in a situation like his, where he's a very powerful player, clearly very willing to play matchups that are pretty uphill, and very willing to deal with a gigantic character pool, I'm wondering why they don't save him for a situation where he may be more necessary than another team player that is normally for these comps that are a little more niche or specific counter picks, because let's be real, Snake has a lot of good matchups, and so does Wolf, and those are Shady Shadows' mains, and having uh, he can have a really good time against a lot of this roster in my opinion especially as wolf i think he can deal with deekster on the wario i think he can, he can deal with eomel on the plant and samus i think he can fare well against bolts as joker um and they're putting him in now i assume to try and take the money and run because if you find this momentum on mild nights properly then maybe you have a solid shot of putting that pressure back on western colorado but it feels like a risk that isn't worth taking in, a, in exchange for somebody that may be on the weaker side and, and may be a little less of a reward, but also a lot lower risk to have entering in that slightly more favorable matchup for them. Now, I think uh, I, I, I agree 100% with everything you just said. However, I believe that's the strategy that we've seen Greenville been running with this entire season. And it has not been working out for them. They've definitely come close. They've they've put in you know very good fights, but uh, you know when you're at week uh, I believe ten, and and you're still looking for that first win and that strategy is not working out for you. Maybe you just try to take the momentum and run with it. You know, it, it's something that's worth a try. Taking it to town and city for game number three between WCU and GU. Shady Shadows on the right as the Snake Mild Knights on your left as that young link and already we see the pressure coming immediately in from shady shadows with these nades blocking so much of this game but actually running into his own thanks to that up smash shady shadows is just gonna keep getting mild knights off of him because let's be real yinks projectiles don't tend to hold a candle to these grenades a lot of the time no they do not uh i like the the crawl across the stage coming out yeah. from baby shadows <laughs> making, me, making me chuckle a little bit but honestly not a bad answer to young link uh he's gonna duck under a lot of those projectiles that uh we're seeing thrown out it, it works honestly if, if it's working it's working um looking at 88 here on shady shadows but definitely anywhere far from an advantage for the mild knights especially oh that's I think that might have been bad DI. It seems that a little must early, have been. but also, uh, you know, we've got some smaller blast zones on this stage. Definitely played a factor there. Looking at one stock left on Mild Knights here. The Shady Shadows is doing a great job of avoiding these kill shots. The up, uh, the up air as well. Uh, just Shady Shadows. Oh, oh my! What are you doing? Massive what are you punish. doing? Massive punish coming out from Shady Shadows. Let's take a look Restock at that Restock going in, coming out of game two. We get a gander at that one more uh, listen, time. Listen, take the momentum please. and you run with Pretty it. Pretty please. <laughs> oh my gosh. Tell me that again, Eon. All right, let's see. That was a little before 100 before hit. Yeah, maybe an air dodge Town, there also. Yeah, I feel like Town and City plus Rage on Snake. Oh, the tilt was... Oh, there was bad spacing on the tilt, dude. That's so sad. Don't do it, yeah. Oh, and the nade hit him too. Dude, that's icing on the cake. Oh my god. That like hit his boot. The sword hit his boot. 
and he still got F smashed. Oh that's, my god. That's that's panic play coming out from Mild Knights right there. Honestly, it was panic play from Shady Shadows too. It, like the fact that he held that as well for an extra second. He like punished that, was, that F tilt though. That was a it, big, it was a big like, punish. He went for it and it worked so well. Oh, that was insane. All right, that's your that's your that's your ghost signal. That's your moment where you're like, okay, we gotta start running with this. Shady Shadows is going to have to stay on the snake though, and so you could bring in a very oppressive matchup right now. You could bring in bolts right now on the Joker and have the same problem that we just stated for Greenville, which honestly, I I I, I like. I like that sort of kamikaze strategy from Greenville because I feel like that gives them a better advantage in the long run. So I think you have to bring in either Deegster or Bolts, and I'm gonna say you bring in Bolts right now because Deegster has been such an influential anchor for WCU on their wins. I would definitely like to see this momentum. You know, if I'm if I'm uh, Western Colorado, I definitely like to see this momentum stop immediately. We're gonna see Deegster wow. coming out, so maybe Bol maybe we're looking at a Bolts anchor here, or maybe we're just throwing out strong players in the hopes that you know we can we can stop this momentum from building. Which honestly maybe a little too late but we'll, we'll have to see going in that, that was a big that was a big two stocks taken with none in return for shady shadows no, so this is terrible. just gonna be like this is just gonna be like a clean fresh game you know like mm -hmm. this, this is gonna be uh especially deekster who's who's used to being on the tail end of these crew battles this is gonna be a little bit of a change of place for both of these teams Definitely short under the stick here for WCU. Three members left against Greenville's four up against Shady Shadows, one of the more formidable opponents here. Immediately going for this forward smash, and the neutraler actually won't fully catch Shadows as well. Great spacing so far coming from this snake, and absolutely already holding his own, but this Wario we're talking about, so much damage can come out of nowhere. I will say, I'm a bit surprised by the Smashville pick. I'm surprised we didn't go somewhere like Kalos. Yeah, honestly... I, I don't mind the Smashville pick in the Snake. Uh, Snake's a big boy. You want to make it as easy as possible to kill him. But you, that that F smash at the beginning, uh, uh, Shady Shadows got the read right. He got the roll in. He just didn't space it correctly. Yeah. Um. Is it, and say what you you know say what you will about these big reads. If you're getting them right, you're getting them right. Not sure what happened there. Ooh, uh, maybe either. maybe a C four placement. Oh. Maybe. Sorry, my laundry timer just went off. Nice. Um, <laughs> I get Big the, moves. Get to change moves. my clothes around. Let's go. <laughs> 125 on this warrior. Definitely kill percent. So we're probably going to see Shady Shadows looking for these kill moves. Not like he, they haven't already been looking for kill moves the whole yeah. time, honestly. I mean, you need to do this ASAP. Wario on Rage, I mean, that still keeps the comp, but potential differences, you get so much more damage because of it. I like the Nikita guarding that he's doing right now, but it eventually gets punished, didn't drop it in time, and the spacing is in the way of Deegsters right now. But Shady Shadows, I doubt he's going to get the restocks. There's no way. Like, I, I think Shady Shadow is still absolutely holding his own. It's just been a couple small errors, er errors that can absolutely be fixed on this snake's part. It is his game to lose right now, but oh. wow! The waft to take care of that second stock. That was incredible by Deekster. I did not see that coming, and I doubt Shady Shadows did either, but that's also meaning that uh, Deeks is going to have to work for this third stock. There's no easy out here. Oh, <laughs> blown up by his own grenade. Uh, this is kind of where Snake can struggle when they, you know, when he can't play from this advantage state. There's a stock going on, that, you know, just like you were saying, I doubt this three stock's gonna come out, especially when you're looking at a three, three stock to three stock game. But, I mean, Deekster's doing work already. Uh, I just, this is, this is just a lot. This is, it's a, it's a very big change of pace. <laughs> From what we're used to seeing, we're used to seeing these strong, these big hitters come out very late in the crew battle. We're used to seeing these be like these high tension, you know, there's only two stocks left. We really got to push, you know, really got to take those stocks. But big up smash coming out from the Wario, going to steal that away, taking Greenville down to nine stocks. And now Greenville's out, Peabody and Shady Shadows are two strongest performers so far in the series. Yeah, he, I I mean, we'll see if it paid off, honestly. What, what an answer by Deegster. That's exactly what you needed. You throw in your anchor early and you weigh the whole ship down. Uh, the entirety of Greenville is now so handicapped. Shady Shadows did not make as clean a getaway as was anticipated. That SD, definitely a tragic start to it. But, I mean, Deegster had so much more to say. The nade on top of that back air into the mid-level waft was beautiful. Beautiful connection by Deegster. And Nikita will seal one stock away, so Shady Shadows 
did make sure that Greenville keeps this lead, but it is now one loan stocks worth. And Greenville, I mean, they don't have too much left to work with at this point. They got Mass Napkin, but beyond that, they only have players that have gotten under 10 stocks these past couple weeks. I think I think you have to throw in Mass Napkin if you're if you're trying to keep this momentum going. Um, granted, I think he did lose a good chunk of it with Shady Shadows there, uh, but we are going to ah, see Michael Myers come out. Okay. Uh, out of out of the people that aren't masked napkins that can still go in, um, still a very strong performer, very strong K rule uh, in their own right. Uh, keeping these strong players in, I I, th I think when you're front loading, you got to full commit to it. Uh, I would have liked to see mass snapping come out, full commit to front loading, full commit to just blasting through as many stocks as quickly as possible, and maybe letting your weaker players try to take care of these stragglers with less stocks. But Michael Myers is also going to be a strong performer coming out here. Uh, we're gonna have to see how it works out for him. I want to see a pick hero. I'm a, I'm a, I'm I would also like all, to see the hero. I'm gonna put it all out there right now. I think the hero versus Wario matchup is not only better for specifically Michael Myers because of the way we've seen him play, which is a little more conservative a lot more of the time. Um, it's also a lot more fun to watch. <laughs> like I love watching K roll, but that matchup versus Wario is just a slugfest until 90%, and then Michael Myers has to play has to play cat and mouse. Um, with hero, he can chase. He can pursue. He can find the uh, the big the big pounces of damage. Um, so I think Michael Myers can play a lot more proactively as well as better safely as this hero in this specific matchup. But it, again, it's against one of the most powerful members from WCU. In fact, it's arguably from one of the most powerful members in the Aces series. Period. I'm expecting the K rule, but I would like to see there. I, I already heard the I already heard the little crocodile laugh. I I, I, I was. I would have liked to see the hero, but I was expecting the K roll. I think it's a. Oh, okay. Uh, I think it's a character that Michael Myers is much more comfortable on. Is this is this gonna be what we're doing for the next five minutes? <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I mean, listen, you, you do what you gotta do, but. I. I like this already. It's going great. Huge. Okay. Massive. Okay. Ted got, got, got it. I gotta, I gotta, Let's go again. I gotta go. Right. Here we go. Big game. Big game, big game already. Oh, big. Okay, all right. Deister finds some damage with the with, with the munch. Okay. okay. Good. Okay. Wow. Landing up there. Interesting. Very cool. Very cool. Right. There before. Yeah, me neither. He was like his people past the ground. That's crazy. Oh, Deister's Deister's finding it. Nice up air again. Oh, this is this is Trade City, but it's like it's like it's like watching a it's like watching Antiques Roadshow, but like you can't speak English, so you're just watching a bunch of old people talk about items that are like that you've never heard of. That's going in the real. <laughs> Antiques Roadshow, but you don't speak English has got to go in the real. Put it in. That's a good one. That's a banger. Uh, unfortunately, big recovery, big recovery? just due to the natures of the characters, if, if, if Advantage State is gonna be boring. It's that's that's just the unfortunate reality of it. Yeah. Which is uh, very to make very clear, nothing against either of the players. If you're playing optimally. Uh, I'm very much of the opinion of I don't care if it's boring or not if I'm winning. Uh, as a former uh, me gunner aces enthusiast, uh, I really cannot judge people for playing in a boring manner. Um, but realistically, when you don't, you don't want to get hit by K rule when you're Oreo. Uh, it's gonna send you off stage. It's gonna put you in a terrible spot. That nair covers that bike. K rule's nair, I should say, covers bike super well. Uh, First stock gone for Michael Myers, so, so we're looking at an even crew battle now, but what? 84 on this warrior can't be lasting too much longer. <laughs> what is charged, by the way? <laughs> it's like, been... This, this game has gone on for so do we, long. Do, he's, do we yeah, start at no, he's, 7? He's, he's been even good. I never yeah. pay attention to the clock, but... We yeah, we started, started at 7. Minutes, right? We started so at 7. Been, so it's been 2 minutes. And he's got... Yeah, he's got... Well, he's got what? He's been doing a lot of damage. He's been he's been eating a lot of these crowns. So I will say I don't completely you know it's not completely unexpected. But the fact that he might have two wafts like fully charged by the end of this game makes me excited and also super depressed, like so sad, because that just means I have to sit around and wait for the next waft to show up. Pretty much. Oh God, poor Michael Myers. He just can't do anything. He's he's just so stuck in a portion of the of the stage for a million oh. years. And then he has to launch a couple attacks, they'll all whiff, and then Deekster can just hop in, get a couple moves, and then eventually kill Michael Myers. Like, that is that is the flow of this. Okay, unless Deekster... 
Anyways. Michael Myers scaring Deekster off the stage uh, and into the Clearly. bottom blast zone. Such pretty intimidation. Big, pretty big mental game. <laughs> that spiky armor is <laughs> no, If you think about it, that was all Michael Myers right there. That was pretty much all the K rule. I would... Now, I, I, I we, we both know that this is Michael Myers' playstyle, right? They like to stay yeah. back in the cut, throw the projectiles, and, it, and on K rule, I think it's a very viable option. But you gotta hit the bad guy at some point. I, I think I think there's been a lot of opportunities where Michael Myers has opted to play it safe instead of just throwing out a nair or a kill hitbox. Uh, and I think it's really been biting him in the ass. Uh, as we can see, Deeks are only dying to an SD so far. Uh, when you're trying to push an advantage, you really can't be playing this safely. You really, I, it, it, well, the way Greenville has been operating this week so far has just been these big momentum, you know, big momentum swi uh, shifts. And <laughs> we no way. There's pointing out, out. Production pointing out we're three minutes away from uh, a timeout. I don't, uh, not sure Please what the no. rules are going to be for that. Uh, I'm Who sure we'll figure out it out at the time. Who battle? Deekster was at two stocks. Dude, oh my god, that Nair didn't kill. That Nair did not kill. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One Twitter on Deeks too, though. Uh, That's true. Surely, surely we see Michael Myers clean this out. I mean, it's it's a K rule and a Wario 123. Stupid <laughs> bike blocks both of the cannon shots. It's so dumb. <laughs> Bike uh, is oh, oh, the best oh, move in the big, game. Big, 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 is it? We've and seen two full loft charges this game. Oh, that's it! That's it! That's it! Deekster has taken the lead back for Western Colorado from the brink after such a long game. We got it done. Greenville now has two players left. Go all like take a nap. Before I we just come woke back up. to the next one, we I just, just woke like... up a couple hours ago. I, I, I <laughs> to go back to sleep. Oh, the, sun, the sun's coming in too. It's one of those things where like everything around me is trying to convince me to sleep, and and <laughs> and that game did not help. And again, I, I, nothing against the players. When you're when you're playing that campy style, you do, you got to do what you got to do to make it work. But I would have liked to see Michael Myers aggress a lot more in that game. Uh, I think that style normally works out uh, for them, but not in this situation, especially not against a player as strong as Deegster, who is really going to be able to weave those projectiles and kind of know, especially knowing that that bike is blocking those projectiles, really, really use that uh, to their advantage a lot of the time. Yeah, so, that, that bike did so much. Whoa! I love when the characters, like, they shrink down when they go in the yeah, his head Wario's so mouth. Yeah, his Wario's mouth. It's so cute. Tiny little K rule. So you got two players left for Greenville. One of them is gonna be Mass Napkin, and I, I suppose the other one is gonna be Blockwoman. Man. And you have one stock. You have one stock for Deekster, and they don't want to take any chances. They're gonna send in Mass Napkin as their fourth. I think this should have been the third, but uh, better late than never. Um, it, it's Link Wario. You know, it's gonna be a lot of it's it's gonna be a lot of the same, except uh, Link doesn't have as good of options up close, I believe, in my opinion, as Wario does. Uh, you're, you're, you're absolutely right. Yeah. Link Nair is really the only thing you're looking at you, to be scared of uh, when you're really uh, back aggressive. Air, back air for spacing. Just a, yeah. Like, a, just as like a sort of get off me, but it's never used. Like It's also pretty else, small. Yeah, everything else kind of just takes a little too long. I mean, down air to get back? Maybe, like, good shield pressure. Yeah, but I'm not. If I'm worried and I'm bum rushing Link, I'm not scared yeah. of a down air. It, see, that's out, the thing know? is, I feel like we're talking about Link like he's a bad character, and he's not. It's just we're talking about him in the context of versus Wario. That's kind yeah. of the big. That's kind of the big gap in the conversation. It's a big issue I think Link struggles with is a lot of his up close game is super duper like like you have the Z drop bomb stuff at the fair, and like yeah. a lot of his a lot of his close up game is optimized, but Kind of at such like a high level that it's something you really like right. see that often. It's so hard to set up. Um, even, even at the top level, you don't see. Uh, just, you don't really just, see Link doing these things. Just do like that Peach Infinite. Just like footstool Z drop all the time. And you should be feel you'll be, be fine. That's yeah. really that's replicable in a normal game of Smash Bros. Right, guys? Right. Give it. 
Give it a give yeah. it five years. I think yeah, we're give it five we're years. Link it. is gonna be Link is gonna be banned from tournaments, you guys, because he's so broken. Because he has the Z drop on the bomb reset. Well, listen, How crazy is that? They didn't ban Meta Knight and Brawl. They're never banning a character in this game. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. All right, already some spacing issues for Mass Napkin here. I, I, you know, I get it. He's playing super safe. He doesn't want to lose any stocks here. He wants to get it back to a 6 6 score line. But the second Deekster recognizes that you're not going to hit him for a little while, he's going to hit you so hard. Already 50%. And oh, he's digging deep. 58. Keep the pressure online, but the recovery will finally stop things. We're back to this neutral back and forth. Even at center stage, Mass Napkin hasn't found an in in a really long time. Now, I. I, as a commentator, I do try to keep the takes kind of lukewarm because, you know, it, all we're not trying to, I, despite the jokes we might make, we don't dislike any of these players or schools Absolutely or anything. Absolutely not. Um, I will say, I, I hate this stage choice. I think this was a really bad idea. Really? Uh, link, you're, so you're Link counterpicking Wario to Yoshi's, a stage with a smaller ceiling, uh, with less ground room and triplats that are really tall make it really awkward for Link to cover with the sword against the character with one of the fastest uh, air speeds in the game. That's true. I think and this those, was a really bad those, idea. Those ledge slants as those ledge those ledge slants as well are both advantageous to the bike and disadvantageous to Link's projectiles as well. Like the boomerang has such a harder time navigating this plane. And Boomerang is normally such a great spacing tool in neutral, but, I, you know, Deekster has had no trouble with it right now. Still pretty even, but the percentage lead is going in the favor of Deekster right now, and I got a feeling that his finisher is coming anytime soon. He can pop out one up smash, but a good bomb keeps that pressure going. Another one will not connect. Good bike recovery from Deekster. He's back on the center stage. Ooh, good conversion. So much shield pressure, but a buffered air Ooh. dodge. And no bike free mass napkin by the skin of his teeth will escape losing a stock and it's tied up again 6-6 six, six. greenville keeping it close keeping it competitive um unfortunately on their end they're, they're working with the weaker end of the roster while western Colorado still has you know bolts in the cut just chilling uh strongest stock taker out of them and you know, hasn't even gone in yet probably going to be saving bolts for an anchor I i'm expecting to see Either Zane, uh, we had Tofu had debuted last week. Either Zane, Tofu, or email another email another one of these uh, middle of the range players who play middle of the range characters, except for Incineroar. Incineroar has a pretty like volatile matchup spread, but uh, the rest of them ha have these pretty middle middle of the range. You're not going to get counterpicked. You're not going to counterpick characters uh, being you know Roy, either Piranha Plant or the Samus out of Eelmail. Um, or the, you know, the Roy out of Tofu. So it is going to be Zane coming in. We have the Incineroar. I think they might be putting him into a bad matchup again, unfortunately. But... <laughs> looking great. If, 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 they, if, uh, if they go to Yoshi's again, I'm liking the Incineroar pick. Up smash killing. Are you ready for up smash to kill at 60% in middle yeah. of the stage? Oh, God. Um, and also, uh, Incineroar, a character, really great at tech chasing onto those platforms, which is a thing that uh, can be set up a lot of the time, especially on Yoshi's. Those platforms are a little higher than you'd like them to be for, like, combo purposes, but it makes it can make the teching a little awkward. Incinera also has a really great time on specifically story recovering, I think, uh, better than better than other stages. And I, that's kind of the biggest thing that I'm concerned about in the Link matchup is, is if and when Mass Napkin can get Zane away, Zane uh, towards this edge guarding situation, He's just going to throw a bunch of bombs. And honestly, Incineroar is one of the characters that has the toughest, one of the toughest times dealing with that sort of edge guarding, where you just have this gigantic hitbox of a, a gigantic ball of a hitbox just sitting in the middle of the space between you and the ledge. And the only thing standing between it is one Alolan whip, or yeah, one, one Alolan whip and one Uppy. That's it. And so you either got to, you either got to wait off this bomb or get hit by it, or you got to risk your Uppy getting used early to get over it, and then you gotta pray that you land. Yoshi's story, that's a little easier. I don't know if we're gonna go there again, though, because it's not like people, it's not like a lot of people like playing on story, no, but hold on. Hold on. do you like playing on story? Cat? Listen, listen, yes. It's the platforms, it's the platforms for I me. Enjoy They're just so like a little much. bit too high. They're just I love a little it. too high. No, I love it. As a Falcon player, I love it because it extends my oh, combos to later okay. percent. All right. Smashville, it's though. Easier. Let's Another about, good let's stage for Incineroar, though. Yeah, I agree. You good got pick. very, very yeah. good pick. You want a revenge back throw at forty percent? <laughs> you want a little whip to kill at zero? <laughs> Great stage for it. 
I forgot we were six to six. I forget this is a yeah, it's a tie game right now. Fresh this, is a, battle. Yeah, this is a tie game. So this is definitely a lot of riding on this game for sure. And Let's I just like... restart and, and do the and this is the first game of the next one. <laughs> Fresh, if you no. just crank those stocks back up to fifteen, we'll just we'll run it all the way back. Oh jeez, please no. <laughs> I like how aggressive Zane is playing to start things out, but Incineroar is so slow, man. It's so it's it's so sad to watch sometimes where I mean, Mass Napkin has no trouble sometimes just like turning around and launching an arrow, which normally is like such a nuisance for other matchups. But against Incineroar, you have a year and a half to launch a projectile or two and wait for Incineroar to catch up. That's very true. I'm, I'm pretty sure I've watched Mass Napkin jump over Zane uh, and then sprint to the opposite side of the stage about 72 times now. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I think, and, and what I'm hoping is Zane seeing this and is getting this information because I think that could be a very big punish later into this game. Dash attack, I believe. Either dash attack or F-tilt gonna take it. My parsec's a little laggy, so I didn't quite see the full animation. Uh, but I, I, these jumps, I would love to see Zane punish. Big back airs or forward airs. Oh, I thought that might have been the stock. Ooh. Um, it could really, it could really just make quick work of these link stocks. Expressing enough how well Mass Nacken is doing here right now as well. He's just so aware of this matchup and what is favorable in it and what isn't. And I mean, of all the players to be aware of it, Mass Nacken absolutely should be. He is for the second highest stocks taken from any player on this team right now. This Link, definitely a formidable opponent and really getting Greenville on the trail to potentially get their first win. There'll be another player behind this, but Mass Napkin, I mean, he's he's on the road for a solid proper three stock right now. If he plays his cards right, keeps this pressure going, and really, oh, such great respect. Just not getting too greedy with a lot of these attacks, just continuing to make sure that Zane can't properly approach and always just using a move that will happen to get him far away until it'll be far away enough for a stock and that's the second one yeah this is if if uh if napkin gets this oh, three stock here this is good this is gonna be a huge a huge opening for green photo potentially take their first win here um and it's and it's looking like it's on the way only 85 on this link definitely a kill percent don't get me wrong um but uh, the way the way napkin's playing zane's gonna have to work for him Ooh the whip and that is going to be the first stock. Uh, Matt Snapkin will not survive. That revenge did a whole lot to help out and another one locked in. I think Zane may have a bit more of a of a lock on this matchup right now and starting to understand what exactly he needs to do but he, he still has got to do it and the revenge is going to get nullified by that grab. So you're back to square one. It's 73% right now. Still an uphill battle. Still a very powerful link against you and you can see Zane is going for these catches instead of these pursuits now. He's waiting for uh, Mass Napkin to try and move around enough for him to be for him to be punished for it. And I think at some point sooner or later, Mass Napkin's gonna catch onto that too. 100%. This is kill percent right now for a lot of these Link moves. Big side be coming out. 83 on the Link. 86 because of the you know the, the, the edge of last, the last up. Oh, another one. That's I'm, a kill. Also in. Yeah, wow. that, that, that's pretty big. Rage Incineroar, not a character to be trifled with. And this is a this is a really big turnaround considering that Zane went down two stops before even taking a single one. This is this is looking doable at this oh. point. Oh, 41 already from the up air chain. Zane, don't do it to him like this. Don't be like this. Not this late in the game. Won't well, three stock your boy like this. This would be the reverse so speed? disgusting. Reverse three so stock. amazing. Another back throw, but that's not going to kill from Mass Napkin. Good. A low whip to avoid things. And the get up attack. Keep that pressure going. 54. Oh, this is so winnable for both of these sides. 165. Good dodge of the bomb as well for Zane. But again, that pressure just keeping on until Mass Napkin can find that final attack. He's still going to play so safely. It's unbearable to watch. Another grab. Is that going to be it? No. An up throw will not finish the job. I'm so scared if I'm napkin. This is this is a max rage oh. Incineroar. Just got out of the gym, fresh oh pump. He's he's gonna hurt. One one alone whip could do it here. I, I think he knows that. that look, oh. Running up and shooting, trying to probably bait out a reaction in order to be able to get this free safe oh. whip. But up to gonna take it. Zane not gonna wow. be able to steal that game away. Four stocks to three going into our final player from WCU, uh, which. Presumably is going to be bolts. Uh, he, they said they were done with the min min, but we'll see. And it was.
It was another speed thing. Uh, Incineroar, his landing lag didn't allow him to get that shield out in time again for that second up tilt. It was the second time in a row that we saw that happen. Um, but still, great space made by Zane. Great comeback. That was looking to be a 6-3 game. Uh, but now it's just a 5... Uh, or now it's just a 4-3 game. Mass Napkin has just one stock left. Um, uh, just really great effort from him. Just continuing to, to play that punish game. And uh, just continuing to, to look for something, which as an Incineroar, it can be really hard to do when you have to wait this long. You have to search for so much. Uh, definitely, a, definitely a challenge, but able to get that Alolan whip nicely done to find both of those stocks. Sadly, just too high to, to catch up fully for the last one. But even so, a lot of progress made. And now Bolt only has to take four to make sure that Greenville does not find its first win. Yeah, I, I, I think Zane came in, and I think Zane did their job. It was, they were trying to wave land or air dodge there. Um, I think Zane did their job. They came in, they took two stocks off. Both of those kills were sub-100 pre-hit, uh, which is, when you're in Cineroar, that's what you're, you know, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for those early kills uh, from a character that, you know, sacrifices a lot of this move speed and mobility for just raw kill power and, and good frame data, and, and I think that's something we saw. Uh, and... If, you know, if I'm Western Colorado, if, if this three stock came out, I'd be sweating a little bit. But Zane luckily was able to prevent that, even take two instead of just the one. I think we're looking at a pretty good spot for Western Colorado here to look nice and comfy. Well, they have one more player to get this job done. Eon, is it Bolts? It's Bolts. Okay, thank you, Eon. It is going to be Bolts. I do think he's going to be on that Joker because I do think that he never wants to touch a Min Min again. I think he's very tired of the character. I think he's... Far, far too tired of playing Min Min, and honestly, I would be too. She can be kind of boring sometimes to play, not to watch. Watching Min Min is watching Min Min super fun, but playing I Min Min. I actually do think I watching Min Min is very fun. <laughs> really? I think, really? I think some of the like more creative. No, watching Min Min is very fun. Watching watching Min Min is very fun. I I'm think, saying I think, playing I think Min Min. People... Playing Min Min can get stale sometimes. I think uh, I think watching especially higher level Min Mins who get these Absolutely. really really unique uh, combos with like the tilts. Uh, on the on the B moves, uh, it gets really interesting. Oh, let's oh, go! I forgot about the duck hunt. I forgot about the duck hunt. I got you know what? Hold on, right now, right, right now. I know you're I know you're seeing this, Tenric. Min Min slash Joker slash Gosh, duck, duck play. hunt <laughs> player. I forgot Bro, about this. I forgot this about it too. So exciting the first time it happened, but I totally forgot about it. I, I it was so dope. Okay. It was so oh cool too. Hey, you want you guys want to see another five minute long game? You ready? Let's do it. Let's go. Only one stock on the only one, one stock. stock on the eh, it's still five minutes. Surely. <laughs> now, now if if uh, if if um Bolts' profile picture is a, a can of beans. That's terrible. <laughs> That's pretty good. Terrible. That's a very good profile picture. Um, <laughs> if. If Napkin can take one here, I think I'm. I, I'd like to. I'd like to, you know, Hungry Road like Napkin to win, obviously. Um, but at very minimum, I, I'd like to see Napkin take one here, and make a nice, easy cleanup Ooh. for whoever's coming in after them, and on the track to do so. Seventy-one to seventy-one, dead even game right here. Oh, I don't like FD. Um, I like how much mass Napkin is throwing out these bombs right now. I really do. I, I think that kind of pressure is so necessary against this can, and the bomb itself is such a good counter to the can. This is 99%. This is, I mean, mass Napkin can definitely take a stock here. He found so much damage out of nowhere, and he's not letting up once he's found out what works. He's avoiding just about everything. Nice rounded uppy again. 122. Oh, this is so doable for mass Napkin to find one. This would be massive, 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 massive for Greenville. The music choice also making this seem way more epic than it is. Uh, it's great thing about so Smash epic. music. It's very epic, but uh, but that I think I believe that was Tekken music, making it sound like we're fighting for the fate of the universe. There's the stock. All right. So from Greenville, I am happy with Napkin bowing out right here. Like if, if this is as far as Napkin gets, I am very happy with how much he's done. I believe this is five stocks this week, total, and another and a stock off of this anchor is huge. Uh, no, this, Mass this Napkin. He's done so much work, and he's looking to do a little bit more. He's playing this great game of keep away right now, just making sure that everything that's launched on him has a price to pay, a good throw, but the can is going the right way. So Mass Napkin has the same kind of approach. The up smash will punish it. So Mass Napkin will only find one. It's three to two. One more player for Greenville. The question is, who is it going to be? I think it's going to be Black One, man. It's got to be. 
I think it's gonna be, unless we have another person, I think it's gonna be Black Woman. Black Woman, I believe, has anchored two or three weeks in a row now. Um, you know, we've seen Greenville in this spot before, and they failed to pull it off. But anything's possible, and and this is a, a big opening. This is not one they get every week. You know, this is this is a spot where I am comfortable saying that Greenville has a has a very good shot of winning this. This could realistically go either way. I agree. I think they can totally do it. I think Blocko Man can absolutely take it. You got to remember, this will be the final matchup to see if Greenville will take their first dub of the season. It has been a long time coming, and Greenville, if they take it, they have absolutely earned it. They have so many great players, such a great roster. Uh, we'll see if we get to interview them, or we'll see if Western Colorado can take this back fully. If Bolts can keep that anchor going, if they can, that'd be pretty good for their record. They'd go 4-5. and five. And uh, I believe that means that they will absolutely have a uh, have somebody tied with them in the top of that bottom four by the end of tonight. So that's got to be uh, that's got to be the least bit comforting as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, you, you, said, you said it great. I don't, I don't even think I have anything else to add. Hey, what's what's uh, ink, inkling uh, inkling duck hunt? Inkling duck hunt. Hmm. That's a That's matchup a you're one. not seeing every day. I, I honestly couldn't yeah. tell you how this is going to go. The idea, I think, being a string-heavy character versus one of these more creative zoners. Uh, cr uh, creative in the sense of, like, a, a Pac-Man kind of creative where it's not necessarily just a straight-up, I'm throwing things at you. It's more just of, I'm creating a, a space that you can't enter or else you're going to get hit by one of my projectiles. Um Inkling, I don't know if it's fast enough really to just bum rush it in. I think it's I think Inkling is a character that's gonna have to take their time getting in, uh, making sure they're weaving through because uh Thunk Hunt has fast enough buttons to to punish these approaches if they're a little sloppy. Yeah. Uh what else can you really say? What else can you say? Other than let's watch, watch. Let, watch let's watch this game. last fight. We're back on story for the last fight. Block Bullman from Greenville versus Bolts from Western Colorado. Who is going to take the win? We'll find out right here. I like the Yoshi's pick for Inkling, if only to make that up air kill much more reliable. And already starting out, uh, even game, but keep in mind that uh, Bolts is down a stock. So this, so keeping it even uh, in, that situ in that context, rather, uh, is good. That's what you want. And we, we, uh, we know that Black Woman isn't as strong of a player as Bolts, uh, so if you're, if you're able to even just keep it relatively close in percentage, then I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Oh, Ooh, great forward smash with the Clay Pigeon counters things out, so the spacing is still a little bit off here. Black Woman, he could say even, but he needs to find this finisher more than anything else, and right now, oh, can't do that yet, gotta refill an ink real quick, little buddy. Again, great stage pressure, the recovery, interesting, very interesting approach there from Bolts, just mixing up that movement so constantly. Still yeah, I, think that that was, I think that was a misinput, but, but uh, yeah. It's a, mi no, it's a mix up. It's a mix up. <laughs> oh, yeah, movement mix up. Yeah, he, yeah, got yeah, his, yeah, yeah. he got his controls Ooh, mixed up. Big can. Yeah, that's a big can. He's gonna pop off the top, but sitting at 72, this is a position that uh, Bucklemans oh. not hating. Kidding himself, okay. Bolts, uh, <laughs> Bolts, buddy. <laughs> We're looking at kill percent here. We're looking at kill percent for this game. 122. Uh, straight back air, straight up air will probably take it. Uh, side B confirmed oh. into a smash tag. Is also going to do it. Oh, Big Bob, I'm going to send him the wrong way, unfortunately. Oh you can tell Black Man wants this, but he's just not finding the hit. Searching all oh, this zoning with the clay pigeon, too. Gets another grab, but can't kill with it. He's, oh god, he's gotta find this kill move. He's gotta do it so quick, but he can't fish. At the same time, Duck Hunt can punish fishing so easily. Another Clay Pigeon, 70, another forward air. Oh, this is looking worse for Block Women by the second. Another dash attack still won't kill. Yeah, if I'm uh, if I'm Bolts, I don't care about getting thrown because I don't think Igman has any real kill pressure out of throw, uh, especially at this high of percent. Oh Ooh, my gosh. Big F smash, gonna take the oh, stock. Bolts. Bolts suddenly in the lead. Not by much though, sitting at 180, and okay. I don't even think the bomb killed him. I think the oh, bomb boy. blew up the can, and the can killed him. Even yeah, match, I, I but right. but we know that Bolts is a stronger player, so definitely more heavily favored in Western Colorado side. So. 
missed up the rapid jab too. Beautiful roller though, but Blackwa man. Oh, there he goes. What? He went so far out and he's lost all the advantage all of a sudden. He also has no ink too. He's got to waste a little bit of time on that, but Bolt is fully inked up. Another missed input. Is Blackwa man okay? This is a scary situation. You know, you're you're on the last stock of your team looking for their first win in the series with only a couple weeks left in the season. I, I'd miss input. I miss input normally. I'd, I'd, I'd be I miss, input, I miss input constantly. Yeah, I'd I would buffer. I would buffer air dodge too. all three of my stocks. Uh, but oh, big can. Oh, but man. but Black Woman holding it together uh, just enough, still maintaining a lead here, if, a, if not just a small one. Not quite a kill percent yet. This duck hunt. Maybe maybe an up there will take it. But like off of like the top platform. Oh, another oh, F smash, smash coming out. Another K and, and the lead is gone. 122. It's so hard to find this kill move as the inkling here. And another forward smash from the other side. That'll do it. One to zero. The Western Colorado University will win. still take the win. Oh, that was so tight. That was really close. Uh, <laughs> Black Woman, I think, looking for an up smash there, but unfortunately, going to up to it. Yeah. Uh, when we come back, though, going to have an interview coming out from a, a player from Western Colorado. Don't go anywhere. Has esports been your dream? Philly Esports is where your career begins. Monthly tournaments. A variety of esports titles. An active Discord community. High quality broadcast. Third shot won't hit him. Oh. It doesn't matter when the other two members are there for the follow up. Full focus taking the first two maps. Video recaps of every event. Start your journey today. PhillyEsports.gg Julep trying to keep that space away. Another down smash. Not just yet. Oh, and another oh. four. You know, has to air dodge out of the side because he can be reverse it. 83 right now for Sparling. That's kill percent against the snake here. Oh. And with this game four, Julep's looking pretty good on route to a win here. Oh, no. Right, a lot of these fast aerials, fast moves against Inkling, who, again, has decent frame data. Oh, oh but I'm going to take it. Again with the fair spike. Uh, this might be death. I'm not sure if he has his double jump. Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I'm, I'm still pretty happy with how this is going. Oh, oh, oh not another one. Oh, he had the jump ready. Oh, one yeah, situation. Mass napkin saved his jump. That was some great patience there. And oh, oh. no, the get this clutch going here. Another nair in the side yes, load on that's top. It. That's gonna get the finisher. This is something that I, I, I feel like Bump is... Oh, that's it. That's it. You don't want to pick against K. Roll. It's scary. Yeah. Um, oh, oh bad stock from Academic pretty easily. Um, also really neutral based. Oh, my God. For us. Yeah. yeah I, didn't, I actually didn't even realize that we were coming up on time. That's oh, smash yet. Julep trying to keep that space away. Another down smash. Not just yet. Oh, and another oh. four. That's the air dodge out of the side because it can be reverse it. 83 right now for Sparling. That's kill percent against the Snake here. And oh. with this game more drop. I'm, I'm still pretty happy with how this is going. Oh. Oh. Oh, not another one. Oh, he had the jump ready. Oh. One down. Get this clutch going here. Another nair in the side load up That's top. It. That's going to get the you finish. got to go for a down throw or, or an up smash or something like that. But Riften, he's got him at 135. And oh. oh. Which time is such a bad? Which time's a pretty bad game? I can't lie. Oh my god! We don't have any side beasts coming out either. So really, no oh! Dude, to find this fish finishing blow, this killing move, he tries to fish over the blocks. Doesn't get it done. Oh. That is heavy. Even through these arms, this is oh really good, really good string. Seventy-three. Fantastic oh. string. This could be oh. it. Oh. Oh, fantastic DI to both go survive. Another one! Another one! I didn't take this down to a one stock deficit. Maybe even pull the full comeback. If anything's possible. If, if there's a dash. If that was a smash deck, I probably would have taken it. Um, however, 
There it is. We're going to see. Great grab there by Rifton. Just having a little bit of time to prepare for every decision. Ooh. And Mona you got to go for a down throw or, or up smash or something like that. But Rifton, he's got him at 135. And oh, oh. Keep available for the next couple seconds here. Rifton might be able to strike, find another stock here. There's the down smash on the roll. It finds it. Which time is such a bad, which time's a pretty bad game? Welcome back to the Collegiate Aces series brought to you by Philly Esports. With me today, we've got Rick John. <laughs> There's so much Mountain Dew behind you. Uh, now, Rick John, I, I've got to start with the classic. You know, how are you feeling about that game? How are you feeling about the set? Uh, that was way closer than it had any right to be. Um, I think I, compared to how I usually do against Yoshi, I think I did pretty well. That is like a major bracket demon of mine, but I don't think I played it like too bad. Yeah, uh, I, I can definitely see Yoshi being a bracket demon. Now, do you think that's a Falco issue? Or do you think that's like a player issue? Uh, both. Characters that can't be edge guarded, who are really good at edge guarding, Falco struggles with so hard. So gotcha. it's, it's a mix of both. All right. Now, I, I will I will ask, I, uh, we did have Deekster come out way earlier uh, than we're used to seeing them this week. What was the strategy uh, behind that really early pick? Uh, they, it seemed like they kind of like front loaded a lot of their like, the players that we were worried about the most came in like earlier on. So we wanted to make sure we kind of like, uh, sent our p better players in first to deal with that. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, Rick John, thank you so much for, you know, giving us a quick word. Anybody or anything we'd like to shout out before we let you go? Uh, not particularly. Um, I think, like, all of the people here are really good Smash players. I think, like, Bolt and, like, Deegan stream occasionally. So, like, that's really it. I don't really have anything I need to plug or anything. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. I hope you have a good one. You too. All right, guys, don't go anywhere. Coming up next, we've got Benedictine versus Campbellsville. Make sure you're staying tuned. We'll be right back.